What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another video. Today we are checking out the Wagner Furno 300 heat gun and why I think it is the best budget friendly heat gun out on the market. All right, so while we're doing the unboxing, just from my research, this seemed like one of the better bang for the buck, uh, low budget, um, friendly, just DIY stuff that you're gonna do at your house. I probably would not recommend this for like a shop or commercial applications. You're gonna use it, you know, hours a day, every day. Um, but for under 30 bucks, and I will leave a link in the description below exactly where to get this, um, I'm hoping this will fit the bill. I'm just trying to take some little pieces of carbon fiber off my car and uh, we're gonna unbox, see what's included and uh, see if it can hold up to its value. All right, so inside, first thing is going to be exactly what you would expect, the heat gun itself. Power cord attached, uh, free six month extended warranty if you want that, uh, to register your product, and the manual like you would expect. So just a couple cool features about this. It does come with two settings, a 750 degree and 1100 degree. Um, I'm sure I will just need the low setting of 750 degrees. So without further ado, we're gonna go in the garage. We're gonna apply this to the uh, front carbon fiber of my car to see if we can heat up some of that 3M adhesive, take that off safely, and see if this really is one of the best budget-friendly heat guns out there there is for under 50 bucks. Here we go. All right, guys, we are in the garage. Uh, this is the part that I'm gonna be using the heat gut on. Um, trying to heat this up because it is held on with a 3M adhesive. So I need to heat this area up so I can take this off and then I'll clean it up. Um, but to get to the heat gun here, here's the heat gun. Uh, it does come with power cable uh, that's detachable. It only does go in one way. So you'll see that there's a little notch here. That notch is gonna go right where that notch is on the bottom there. And uh, make sure you have a proper extension cord ready, uh, extension cord ready to go. So in the instructions, it does come with a neat little uh, heating uh, guideline depending on what you're going to use this for. So I'm going to be using something for an autom automotive stuff. So go to the automotive section and for moving stickers, emblems, and decals, you can either use low or high and uh, open no tip. So that is really cool. Uh, a couple other things you want to know if you're new to using a heating gun. Uh, couple tips is obviously once you are done using a heating gun a lot of people just want to do exactly that leave it on its side don't leave it on its side when you're done with heating gun you actually want to keep it upright reason being is it's gonna be hot and it wants to be cool the vents are usually on the side of a heating gun so if you put that on its side you could damage it or it also will take longer to cool down. So when you're done with a heating gun, you want to disconnect it and leave it upright for a little bit. So and when we get this all connected, uh, when you use a heating gun, you kind of want to use a back and forth motion also at an angle. Uh, you never kind of want to be, let's say you were doing something, you wouldn't want to be straight down on it uh, 90 degrees. So whenever you're doing something, you want to do it at an angle and a sweeping side to side motion. So let's get to it. So I'm going to connect power cable here. Plug this into the power strip. And I have uh, two pieces of 3M adhesive, so I have to get on the bottom and on the front here. And I feel like low is going to be good enough for now. If not, then I can always move to high. I think I am going to just bump this up to high for the last like 20 seconds. All right, and now I'm going to get my trim removal tool here. I use these in so many of my videos, mainly for interior, but also, if I had to do the rondelles or the badges, I use this too uh, to make sure I don't like scrape anything. These have come in handy all the time and usually will do the trick. So I'm going to heat up one more time real quick and then a combination between the fishing line and my trim removal tool and pop it out. All right, and now I'm going to get my trim removal tool here. I'll make sure my fishing string stays right where I want it and that'll help me assist with the wedge, hopefully. There we go. I'm just gonna 
Now go along. <laughs> uh, note to self, the fishing string might melt a little bit. And I'm trying to go slow because I do want to see if I can give this to someone or sell it. So it's definitely gooey, so the heat gun definitely did its trick. And I don't think I'm gonna be able, so lucky to get this off in one swoop here. But I will do another pass to help me get this other old 3M adhesive off, and then we'll do the other side. But yeah, um, I would say I, I couldn't have been more than three minutes on, um, on low, and then maybe 30 seconds on high. That is not a bad little gun. One thing about this is I was expecting it to be much louder. I don't know if this is drowning me out. Very well could be. Um, since this is much closer to the microphone than my voice is, but I thought this would be like more hair dryer loud. Now this is the low setting. Um, the high setting is that. I don't want to use that too much until I think I'm close to the end. So, but um, just getting the, the surface pretty toasty. Keeping my distance, doing a sweeping motion and making sure I'm trying to stay at an angle. And when I go to check it, make sure that I sit this upright, obviously away from the car because I don't want this metal end to come in contact with anything I don't want damaged. So, just put it on a surface that, in case it does topple over, you wouldn't cry about if it got a burn mark. This place, perfect to do it on concrete in the garage. All right, I'm gonna check that. So for whatever reason, this one is being just a little bit more stubborn. So I'm going to try this one on high. And I'm leaving one of my trim removal tools in there because I got a little bit of a wedge. So I'm hoping with that um, kind of already, you know, seal breaking that this will work. I'm just going to put it on high, keep my distance a little bit more, make sure I do a sweeping motion and add an angle. That did the trick. <sighs> now me. <laughs> Perhaps I didn't do enough on the top. Let's see. Uh, I have noticed that when you do high, um, fishing line is much easier to melt. That's all right. Uh, disposable. So same thing here. I got everything off on the bottom, but not as much on top, but a little bit more than last time. This one just, uh, appeared to adhere to the car much better. So 
I'm gonna put this aside, clean that up again. Doing one more final wipe down with the rubbing alcohol. Uh, so final review, um, I will say that it's exactly what I thought I'd be getting. It's a budget friendly heat gun, nothing fancy, just two settings, hands down. I have done jobs before in the past using a hairdryer. It takes forever, like more than quadruple the time. I, I've done stuff where I've been blow drying. I, I swear it was like just shy of 45 minutes to get some adhesive off. And this was, I, uh, I think the other one was like three minute pass, maybe another minute. This one, I it was probably closer to about six or seven minutes total on and off. I had to do, you know, a couple more times. It was just being a little bit stubborn and also with the trim removal tool trying to finally break that seal. But yeah, th this would have been an hour <laughs> with a hair dryer and just not worth my time. 30 bucks, um, yeah, is well worth it. And it's already cool to the touch. That's pretty cool. There you go, guys. That's my review of the Wagner Ferno 300. It's exactly what I thought. It's a super budget-friendly heat gun. And for less than $30, I don't think you can beat it. I will leave a link in the description below. I think you can get it directly off Amazon from the link. Uh, I think Home Depot even sells it too. But um, there you go. It's nothing fancy. Two settings, low, high, but it gets the job done. Saved me a lot of time from using a hairdryer. I've done it before in the past and it just took quadruple the time. So there you go. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the heat gun, leave a comment. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Out.